Hello and welcome back. Today let's take a look at Award Space. I'll try to give you my experience so far, what I've discovered, what I've noticed. Let's get to it. One thing I want to say on my website, whitepriestweebly.com, on the blog I actually posted a couple of posts which you can read if you want to find out more information about all the other free hosts that I was able to find. Now let's talk about award space. There is a blog post as well, link in the description, but let me give you my experience one on one. So here is the website. There's plenty of stuff they have paid offers. Some of them are, or actually all of them are, uh, you get like a discount at the beginning, but pretty much every service gives you a couple of months free, gives you a free discount, and then they up the prices. That's simply how it works. But they do have a button, free hosting. You click on it, you can sign up, you scroll down, they give you some information, There is, there are no ads, you get 5 gigabytes of bandwidth and 1 gigabyte, or not even that, but almost one gigabyte of disk space, 99.9% .9 uptime, you get a couple of more things. I wouldn't really count on the support as far as free accounts go, but it's there, I guess. Your account does get instantly activated, I can confirm this. So let's take a look at award space. This is the C panel, I'll first show you, show you this particular thing, and then we'll talk about everything else. One thing to note, here is my video about free hosting, no ads, hosting provider. Do note how both of these hosts use identical panels. These They are 100% similar. One thing to also note, the file size limit for free hosting no ads is 15 megabytes. Award space, also 15 megabytes. Are these two hosts connected in any way? The same panel, the same file size limit, everything the same, what's going on? Why is it that I also say that these hosts are the same? So let's take a look at the backups. I scroll down and I am looking for backups. Let's see if we can find them. Backup manager. Let's click on it. As you can see, you need to pay or slash upgrade your plan to be able to create a backup. This is same thing with free hosting, no ads. Just a little bit more expensive. Do notice how also in this video you get the same domain hostings, same disk space and monthly traffic as with award space as well. The, the, all, all these other things are uh, not identical, but that's pretty much it. But you can also see you have data backup, backup email forwarding. It's all at the same place, same spot. Also, there is a small text down here. Promotional price first, billing cycle only, renewal price is almost $5 a month, and it's the same with award space. This is what happens. As you can see, backups do not work. Also, file size limit is identical to free hosting, no ads. Also, creating a backup by some type of add-on for WordPress, for example, will not work. So, it's going to be very difficult to get your files backed up. One way to backup your website is go to Database Manager, backup your database through that. And then go open up File Manager and simply select your website and try to download the whole thing. And as you can see, it should work. It's going to take you quite some time depending how much space. You should know that already by taking a look at the cPanel. It should be about 80 megabytes. So that's how you can back up your website. Just back up the database and then back up the files like this. Let's talk about some other things. This is a free host. But for me, the disk space is enough, but traffic is not enough anymore. As I do get more traffic, as I post more stuff, they sim more stuff ends up on Google because I do blog. So eventually, traffic is simply not enough. You will have to upgrade. If I open up blog, I do have the option to view my archived or older posts because I can only see about 10 or something like that posts here. Let's click to see older posts. Nope, just doesn't work. Gives you 404 page. This is because the host has blocked this feature. If you open up my website, there is a hidden menu. You gotta click the plus button in the upper right corner and as you can see, it doesn't work on this host. However, here's my website on another host and as you can see, the plus button works just fine. You can see the website is different. One thing as well, comments do not work. You can try to type in the comment, type in the name, the email, try to submit it. All it does is it simply takes you to a white page. The comments do not work. As far as load speeds, I did write that it's about 6. If you click, it's not instant, but it does load. First time you open up the website, it takes a little bit more, but it's just fine. So I also wrote that I will keep this website up, but I will not use it. It's just up there because I'm, I'm making this video. You can see the URL visited. 
explore yourself, test it for yourself. But that's pretty much it. I have created my website about four days ago, it seems like it. And as you can see, I've constantly had some type of traffic, but it seems that there was a downtime. Maybe this my website simply wasn't working. As you can see right here, this particular date, in and out, zero bytes. So I, don't, I, I think it's impossible, zero bytes. It clearly should mean that the website simply was down at that particular time. So four days, already one day down. Since many things do not work on this host, and I'm not getting so much out of it using WordPress, I simply do not think this host fits me. However, obviously for free projects, it's one of the better ones, I would say. Again, one thing to note, a lot of these hosts I have reviewed really quickly because I don't think they are worth talking about because they offer minimal stuff, abysmal stuff and lots of issues and it's very hard to get the account. So I've skipped many of these hosts. However, the couple of them that I will talk about and that I will test out are written down here. So be on the lookout for more videos where I review these free hostings. Is award space bad? I would say not really. It's just okay for a free host. It doesn't offer you super crazy stuff, but it doesn't really leave you in dirt like, oh, why do you, you're just wasting your time. It's not like that. As I review more of these hosts and I experience them, it becomes clear that they simply do not fit for a more serious project. If you just want to do something for super hobby work, I guess these hosts work, but really one should not rely on free hosts. So far as I'm discovering, you simply cannot find a reliable host for free. It's either something's fishy about it, something's missing, some issues, something's blocked, you cannot use something. Most of these hosts use their free option to promote their paid services. They somehow lock you in and they then you have to pay. For example, you use the host, you have the website, it's been running for a couple of months, it gets bigger, you want to back it up, ah, can't, you got to pay, and then it's the website means something to you. It has some value, so you will pay for a backup. That's how they lock you in, sort of. You, didn't, you don't know the, these things at the beginning. They don't really tell you. Every host uh, tells you what they offer, the good things. They talk about the good things, so I will not talk about the good things that much. Uh, it's Like I've said, from 1 to 10, I'm going to say like 5 or 6. That's the grade. Maybe I did already. Yeah, I, I gave it like a 6 overall for speeds, but overall just for the host, like 5 or a 6. That's it. If you take away anything from this video, take away that you should not rely on free hosts at all and always find a way to first back up your website. If you cannot back up your website, move away from the host. Anyways, that's it. Thanks so much for watching. I will see you in upcoming video where I review Buy It Host. And there's going to be something interesting about it as well. See you guys very soon. Priest, signing out.